I love you, Jordan. What's up, Shay Amazing Friends? And I'm back with another video. So if you don't know where I am, where you new here, I'm Nicole. Welcome to Nine Bucks TV. And if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. So today I'm going to be trying out international snacks that I got from Japan and the Philippines. And really it's not much, but we just gonna try it out because I never tried it. And while I'm trying it out, I'm gonna give y'all a story time of the little case I was telling y'all about um, in the Valentine's Day video. If you haven't already, go watch that video. I'm gonna put a little thumbnail right here so y'all know which one it is. If you haven't already, go watch that. And I'm gonna give y'all a story time about the case while I'm home. Why I came home from my show early, this and the third. So yeah, this is real tea. So sit back, grab your popcorn, grab your tea. We out you. So yeah, so stay tuned and yeah, I'm out. Okay, y'all. So first, first I'm a um I got ramen. I got this curry ramen. I got this uh yakisoba, this spicy chicken yakisoba. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I got some stir fry teriyaki ramen cup noodles, and I got some Japanese chips, and I got some Japanese cookies. Hold on, wait, can you see them? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I got some Japanese cookies. So we're gonna try all of this. I'm gonna be back, and we're gonna we're gonna get started. We're gonna talk about the tea. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's up, y'all? So, boom. I got these and. Oh, this right here. Yeah, boom. So, I got these. And I'm just opening them up. Oh, let me get into it. Okay, boom. I, I should have already get this off camera. Hold on. Real raw and uncut with it. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, boom. So, we opening this up. And I'm not even hungry. I'm just doing a video because I already ate. <laughs> so we just about to do this and just talk and chat it up. Okay, boom. So yeah, we're gonna do that one. And we just gotta put peel all of these back. And I'm not a cup noodle type of girl. I'm not even really for a friend. Like, I'm not even really a noodle type of girl. But I don't know, that's all they be having a few. So I was like, this would be good for a video. So, yeah. Um. Oh, so I wasn't even supposed to take this. Reading is fundamental. You, yeah, yeah. Reading, reading is fundamental. Because I wasn't supposed to take this thing all the way off. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it the black way. We're going to do it the black way. Because, you know, one thing about us, we're going we're gonna to make our way. I'm not going to take this one all the way off. Because something, something, something got to give. But this look like. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna keep it on. You, yeah, yeah. We gonna keep it this on. Okay, boom. So I took all the tops off, but I'm gonna peel this one back halfway. Cause that's what I'm gonna just take it off. I took all of them off. So now I'm gonna add some water. And I'm gonna be right back. Okay, yeah. What's up? I'm back. So all of these, I added water to all of them. All of these got different times. So this one says four minutes. The stir fry one, and the yakisoba says three minutes. And then the curry one say two minutes. Like I said, I'm gonna do a mallet. So I'm more of a five minute type of girl. When I cook my noodles, I cook my noodles on five minutes. Comment down below which I cook y'all noodles on. But on the other hand, me, oh, I'm gonna turn up. So this is what I do. So I'm gonna put these noodles in there and I'm gonna show you how they looking so far. And I'm gonna come back how they look before and after when they done. Before they done. Y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna see it. I got so y'all. This is the yakisoba stir fry and curry. You can see it got the Japanese language on it. Wait, let me focus it. Yeah. So it got the Japanese letters on it. And all of these came from Japan. And I think this one came from the Philippines. Yeah, the yakisoba one came from the Philippines. And yeah. Um, this is what it looked like on the inside. This not it's not done yet. That's the stir fry one, and that's the yakisoba one. That's just a little light inside. And the yakisoba one came with like some sauce packets right there. So this is this what we doing. This how we 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 going viral with it. Hold on. And I'm gonna show y'all how it look when it's done. Okay, so like I said, I'm a five minute type of girl. So we're gonna put these drunks on five minutes. 
and okay y'all so this is what it looked like <laughs> and this is what it looked like when it's all done and I didn't put no um I didn't put the sauce in it yet inside the yakisoba one so we just gonna put that in there on camera when I start the story so yeah Okay, y'all, so, I'm back, or whatever. So, um, okay, y'all, so I'm back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. So, I wanted all the noodles, or whatever, so now I'm about to just open my chopsticks and get them a stir because they looking kind of <laughs> yeah hold on let me pull my hair back okay so um i'm gonna start with let me set this up first oh this looks funny looking i don't know about all these okay okay That's the curry one. I'm about to start a stir fry one now. It's low key kind of very much hot in here. I was about to put a jacket on, but mm, let me see. Okay. And then open up one more chopstick. Oh, yeah, I took these chop chopsticks from Japan too. I don't know why I took them from. I think a restaurant. I don't know. No, girls just be like, nah, I'm taking nothing, but. Okay, so I'm gonna put this little chicken seasoning packet because it's, it's, it's yakisoba spicy chicken. So I'm gonna put this chicken seasoning in here. Or whatever. I don't know if y'all can let me put it right here so y'all can see me put it in here. So, anyway, so I'm gonna start the story off with. I'm gonna just gotta give y'all a little backstory first and then I give y'all the actual tea. So the backstory is. I guess it's like a sweet chili. I'll say salt pieces melting. I'll say, I don't know, but we're going to just do what it do. Anyway, so. So, yeah, the bad start is I used to date this dude or whatever. And I was dating him for six years before this even happened. Before this little situation happened. So, I've been dating him since I was 15 all the way to... 20 i'm 21 now it really was till i was 21 but it was really like once i was 21 it was about over you know how something mobile but you just keep hanging on to it yeah basically that's what it was you know just kept hanging on to it so hold on i don't wanna shit mm, mm, mm. okay y'all so boom so yeah let me set this up so they basically just was over or whatever, but I just kept on hanging on to it. So and he kept hanging on to it too. It wasn't just me. We both was hanging on to it. Yeah. And um it just wasn't given what it posed they gave, you know? Like it just wasn't it was just over. So once I joined the merchant scene, I joined the merchant scene when I was 20. After my first ship, the relationship was about over anyway, because this job is not a job where you keep a significant other. I'm sorry to break it to you, but yo, the men out there cheat on their wives. The wives out there cheat on their husbands. Um, boyfriend cheats on girlfriends. Baby mom, baby daddy cheats on baby mom, baby daddy. Like everybody cheating on each other. When you go on the ship, you have a whole other life on the ship than you have from being at home. So I'm not saying I was a cheater. So I know, but I'm not saying I was a cheater or nothing. But yeah, so that's what it was giving. So we just was like, you know what, it's just not working. So we can just be friends. We're not even friends. We can just be cordial. We're gonna still mess with each other, but we just gonna do us too. So it was an understanding, but it was just like whatever, whatever. So we, we that's what we did. We was with each other, but we was messing with other people too. And it wasn't like an open relationship because we weren't in a relationship, but that's just what it was. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try the I'm trying to get the sober first. I don't think I'm gonna like this, but 
Cause it look bland and I don't even like, it just look funny. Hold on, can y'all see that? It might spill. Wait, I'm gonna just bring it up to y'all, hold on. It look like regular noodles. So, I'm gonna try this one first. Tastes a little kick, but ain't nothing spicy on about it. It tastes like sweet. It's sweet though. It don't taste like just straight chicken noodles. It's kind of on the sweeter side, but at the same time, it's, it's bland. Um, I'm gonna get this up. Um, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna rate it, but I'm, I'm gonna have to. You gotta retaste. You know, you gotta taste something twice. Yeah, I'm gonna taste this twice. So anyway, so yeah, basically, um, we had just decided like we was gonna talk to other people too. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna give these people fake names because I'm from Virginia and I know Virginia people be watching me and I don't know drama because you know. Yeah. So we wanna name a boy that I used to mess with. Um let's see. We're gonna name him Tay. Yeah, we're gonna name him Tay. So Tay I was like on my first year or whatever. So when I came back from my first year, like he been checking up on me and stuff like that on my first year. So when I went to my second and my third year, it was like, I really wasn't expecting him to check up on me anyway. But cause it really didn't hurt my feelings at this point. But it was just like, I'm living. And I already knew the relationship was over. I just was living. So I'm in my prime. And I ain't, why would I be stressed and depressed about a piece of man that ain't mine? Is you serious? Oh, bitch, I'm gonna be, bitch, I'm gonna be sleep peacefully before I be drunk and motherfucking stressed and depressed with a piece of me and it ain't motherfucking mad. Bitch, you shit serious? Baby. So, yeah, I just like this what it is. So, um, what happened after that? Okay, boom. So, we're gonna fast forward from my first ship all the way to my third ship, which is the ship that I just got off of. Not the very last ship, but that was the... Um, Mount Whitney that was on Dwayne, but the ship before that the Rappahannock I, when I first met Dwayne So this that all the way the ship all the way to the Rappahannock Um, if you haven't already go check out my video my four-month tour in the Philippines my four-month tour in Guam my four-month tour in Japan Sasebo. So that's at this point in time Those videos is at this point in time that I'm about to tell y'all about So boom fast forward to the Rappahannock from my first ship to the Rappahannock, which is my third ship So when I got my third ship, um me and him was school actually the very last day, me being at home is my very last day of me going to going to the ship. So I got on the right hand in August 7th. I left August 7th to go get on the right hand on, on like through the airport and stuff. And that's my last day seeing him, which was August 7th, 2022. So when I went to the right hand or whatever, I'm going through the airport, I'm going through like traumatizing events because I got on this plane and got all the way to what was I at New York missed my flight then they had to send me backwards to go to Boston I had to wait from Boston to go back to Japan and then they didn't give me no money so I'm using all of my own money they didn't give me no per diem and stuff so in my head I'm battling a lot being that I already missed my flight and I had a 13 hour layover I had to stay in the um, airport by myself like nobody else I never had to stay in the airport by myself before so I was like going through a lot of stuff and I won't text them or nothing Manager, the day I left, August 7th is his birthday, so I won't text him or nothing at all. So, um, he like blew me up, like, you can't even text me, you can't dish, you can't that. That's my birthday, like, you ain't SHIT, blah blah. So, I'm like, bro, you don't even know, I'm over here almost in another country, like, literally this close to being in another country, about to be stranded on my own because they ain't getting no funds in my account for me to get in a hotel or nothing. So, you really like, you, you feel me? Like, he all of my neck, like, all of my neck, but I'm going through something myself, so I can't really just be, like, texting you the whole time. Anyway, so I did my four months or whatever on the Rappin' Handy, and then it's time for me to come home. So, already, man, you on the Rappin' Handy, I won't really, like, oh, I thought I was gonna try this one again. I won't really, like, talking to him, but towards the end, I was talking to him because I had met other people on the Rappin' Handy, and I was talking to them, and then I always had, like, somebody else to hang with, because so, like, I was home with Dwayne. So, 
I won't really focus on him. I'm not saying I'll focus on, on focus on the way on somebody else. It's just the point that I wasn't focused on him. You know when you you mess with somebody and stuff like that, and then you get somebody else to take your mind off. Whether it's a home girl, a friend, or whatever the case may be, you're not focused on no other. No, you're not focused on no nigga no more. You focus on your friend. It's like I'm not, I'm not sad. Like I said, stressing the price about who. So let me try this one more time. Mm-hmm. Just like I threw it. Ooh, ooh. Looks like I thought. So, anyway, yeah, this is, um, I'm giving this a 3 out of 10. Why is it a 3? Because if I'm real hungry, it's going to get me through. Yeah, if I'm real hungry, I'm going to have to eat it, and it's a 3. I don't taste no spice. It got a little sweet taste to it, but it ain't giving chicken. It's giving beef. Yeah. So, next up, we're going to try... Her, the curry girl, because I'm I'm a sucker for Indian, and that's what it smells like. It's not like Indian food. Okay, so yeah, back to the story. So, um, yeah, basically we on the rapid hand it, and towards the end, all my friends had got off the ship. Dwayne got off the ship. Stacy went home. Brian went home. Dar Darius. Everybody, everybody got off the ship. So, at this point, I'm by myself. Like I'm feeling for myself at this point. And, I mean, I still had other people on the show that I could talk to. I was conversing with, having fun with, stuff like that. But it wasn't giving the same vibe that I got with them. So, I'm like, I'm ready to go home now. Because now my, my four months approaching, my time approaching, I'm itching to go home. Like, I'm counting days off the calendar. Like, TikTok, TikTok, count days. So, um, time started approaching. So, he ended up emailing me and was, like, emailing me, like, yeah, uh, my friend died. I guess his friend had got, like, shot in the head and stuff like that. So, he had emailed me that, like, yeah, my friend got shot this in the third. Can you pray for me this in the third? One thing about me, oh, if you need prayer, I'm going to pray for you. That's how, I, that's how I am. So, I said, okay, you know, I emailed him back and stuff like that. And I let him know when I was coming home. So, we started talking for probably about a week. Though it wasn't consistent, per usual, that's just how he is. So, we talked for a week and then it just went ghost. But I still was talking to the Wayne the whole time anyway because even though he was at home, I still would call him. I just wouldn't talk to him like I'm usually talking to him every day. So, um, pretty much as time went by, fast forward, boom. Now I get off my ship. I'm home. It's November. I got off the ship like November 20th, I'm going to say. And I was home just in time for Thanksgiving. So, my I'm home for Thanksgiving. My first three days home, I'm chilling, and I end up linking with my ex. So I linked with my ex one day, and it just rekindled everything, and we started back messing each other. So as we messing with each other, uh, I'm guessing that time that he wasn't checking up on me, and you know, conversating with me, and when I said it was inconsistent when we was on the phone and stuff, obviously he was talking to somebody else because. Ladies, if you mess with a nigga and a nigga not consistent, he's talking to somebody else. I don't care how busy, how busy you are, you make time for who you want to make time for. Like, you can be a famous basketball player, have four kids, a dad, a at-home dad, a stay-at-home dad, whatever you want to call it. You're going to find time for that girl to take her on a date. When you like somebody, you like somebody, it is what it is. You see how Terry on BMF be making time for Markeisha? That's how niggas do. So, you're going to make time for who you want to make time for regardless. So, at the end of the day, yeah, I kind of figured that. But I'm just like, it is what it is because I only got my own little junk going on the side anyway. So, I ain't really pressed. Trust. So, yeah. So, he ended up, um, I ended up coming home every alley with him. And I guess he cut the girl off. We're going to call the girl Marquia. So, I guess he cut the girl off or whatever. And... Mind you, previously when I've been messing with him, I've messed with him for six years. So previously I had run-ins with a girl my kid anyway. But it was just more so like little petty childish stuff. Like, okay, well, it is what it is, blah, blah, Who cares? I ain't never like take it serious. I used to always be petty. Like, you know, I'd be childish and stuff and stuff like that. But I never really took it serious because in my head, I'm doing me. And in my head, I felt like it was, it is what it is because he got my name tattooed on me, which it don't even mean, that don't even mean nothing either. They got your name tattooed and the next girl can be kissing on it. Don't know, it that don't matter either. Like, you can have, it don't matter. So, obviously, if I got cheated on, even though we weren't together, 
But when we was together, I still got cheated on. So, how was my name don't matter. So then, anyway, I got ADHD too. So that's why I be like jumping all over the place, which I got to keep up. Literally, like, you got to keep up. So yeah, um, let me try these curry noodles real quick. We're going to try these. These junks look kind of <laughs> dry on It look kind of dry, but this one, this one look like, hold on, can y'all see it? Yeah. That's really how y'all can sober look for real for real. Anyway, so yeah, I guess the dude was messing with the girl and when I came home I started about talking to him. But I guess he stopped talking to her. So that kind of like made her mad. Well actually she told me two weeks because I had talked to her and me and her cool or whatever the case and be after the situation we don't get cool. So she ended up telling me that Two weeks before I came home, she found out he was talking to me. Remind y'all, I told y'all I was talking for a week, and then it was inconsistent without talking. So she had found out that he was talking to me or whatever, so she had, like, I guess, hit his car and bust his windows out of his car and stuff and all that and all that. But I didn't notice until after this little altercation had happened. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like, that was just, I wouldn't know that. That would've just been like a red flag to me very much. I need to just go my own way. But anyway, so yeah. Let me try these. And then I'm gonna tell y'all the rest of the story. Hold on. Cause I told y'all I got ADHD. I can multitask, but I can't really lie. I don't like this at all. I don't like that at all. That's a 3 out of 10. This. Nasty. So that's, that's nasty too. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to try this stir fry one. This stir fry one got um, teriyaki chicken in it. With vegetables. So let's try to get to the bottom of it. And this is what this one look like right here. Look like that. With um. Good. With like ter teriyaki pieces in it. Who are you talking to? <laughs> now, why are you doing that if you know I'm doing a video? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just talking to you. You know what I'm talking to? I just literally stopped the video and told her that I'm doing a video. Anyway, so this one, this nasty too. I get a 3 out of 10. It's sweet. It's just kind of like, it ain't giving. So I get all of these 3 out of 10. So next, I'm gonna try these chips. Yeah, I can't. Ooh. I don't even know what it say, but I'm guessing it's um barbecue chips. I don't know what it say, but we just gonna vibe out on this will look like the inside. Okay, anyway, that's the story. So yeah. So, like I was saying, or whatever, she had busted his windows out, or whatever, and I still was talking to him. So, we vibing. Now, it's probably like, it's probably about three days after Thanksgiving. So, this is like the 27th, because I think Thanksgiving was on the 24th this year. So, the 27th, November 27th. So, we go to, we said we can go to Sats Fifth in D.C. So, we go to Sats Fifth, we, we vibing. This is what the tea for me in it. So we, and he like yeah uh he wanted to get him some purple jeans and i wanted to get me some subies so i'm like bad we can just go we drive my car whatever, whatever so we get there and we go get what we want and then we decide we can get some food so i'm guessing i put oh well, i know for a fact i put uh i was in dc on my story like you know how you just drop your low like that so i got my low so i'm gonna try these now Mom. What? You gonna tell I'm not even hot for you. And yeah, these is barbecue chip um chip the whole time. But yeah, um, these it ain't enough sauce, but I get these a uh I get them an eight. No, I give them a seven, cause they ain't they regular. 
I don't have an iPad. Okay, he's a seven. And then the last thing is some almond cookies I got from 7 Eleven in Japan. And I know these are buzz because I like snacks. Okay, anyway, so back to the story. So we get our stuff, we decided we can go get dinner. So we had a dinner table with us. So I guess he dropped his low too. But my page is private. Matter of fact, y'all go follow me at nad.bucks, N-I.B-U-C-K-S. So my page, um, public, I meant to say, my page is public, so the whole world can see it. So I'm guessing she put two and two together and then equal four. And that's how she determined what she determined. So while I was at the dinner, um, while we was getting food or whatever, she had like texted me and was like blowing my phone up and stuff, calling me and stuff. So I'm like, well, who was this? And the whole time, it was her. So I had blocked her and then she started calling me from the right else page. So then I just started like entertaining and stuff, laughing and stuff, joking, whatever, whatever. You know, being childish. So after that happened, he like, bro, she crazy. She did, she did, blah, 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 blah. But one thing about a girl, a girl not gonna be crazy for no reason. So if she crazy, you made her crazy. That's that's like if two plus two equals four, and four plus four equals six. I mean four plus four equals eight. Then yeah, it, it adds up. So yeah, after that we go to we end up leaving. So she like yeah I wanna fight. So I'm like you wanna fight? She like yeah I wanna fight. So I'm like I'm not fighting you. Obviously I can't fight her. I can't. Even if I did want to, I couldn't. So, that's so I'm not fighting. So, we ended up going to, what is it called? We ended up going back to his house over there. And I ended up dropping him off that night. So, as I drop him off or whatever, I'm driving. And I'm going down this, like, this certain road or whatever. If you're from Virginia, then you, like, you, you from Norfolk. Then you know what Liberty Street at. But whatever. So yeah, I'm in off I'm driving down off of. I'm driving in off of whatever. I'm going straight. So boom. I'm going straight and I heard somebody like beep 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 like beep me down. But I'm on I'm I'm like on FaceTime, but I'm not obviously on FaceTime, but my phone connected to the radio, so I'm talking, I'm driving, and I heard somebody beeping, so I'm like, hold on, I'm gonna call you back. Well, actually, I thought it was him because the car was white and he had a white car. So, I thought it was him while he left something in my car. So, I pull over and I make a U-turn or whatever. So, we can, like, like my car this way, her car that way. Whole time I'm thinking it's him, it was her. So, she pull up, she dropped her window or whatever. But I can't see in her background. I only can see her. So I don't know if she with people or what, but I see her like put her car in park, like she about to hop out. So she like, got the car, got the car. So I'm like, why would I got the car? So I end up speeding off, I pull off, excuse me, I pull off and I go to, I end up calling him, but I go duck off in this little cut. So somehow she and them ride past me, like I'm ducked off right here in the cut and she ride past me, but she see me. So she stopped in the middle of the street and started backing up. So I'm on the phone with Zay at this point. So I'm like, bro, this girl is following me this and third. She trying to hit my car, she following me home. So he like, you lying, you lying. So I'm like, I'm not lying, I'm dead serious. So, after that or whatever, um, yeah. So after we leave them, we ended up. Well, after I after I was right there, she ended up falling, finding me. So she backed her car up and she was driving towards me again. So I ended up going past her. So she in the middle of the street and I'm right here. She back up and she started coming this way, but my car already right here. So I just zoom past her and go that way. So then she got to do a whole 360 to even get back to him. So I'm going again. So she ended up catching up because obviously I can't like, you know, do the dash, but whatever. So she catch up. So now it's at the point where like, 
she's trying to hit my car and she's trying to like run me off the road and stuff like when i tell you it was crazy it was like a lifetime movie it was like a lifetime movie like um the drone where like y'all seen the movie obsessed with beyonce with a white lady and like the white lady was going ham over beyonce husband that's what it would give me it'll give me the vibes but it is what it is so yeah okay let me try to use okay. this what they look like they like little white balls i don't know if you can see them for real yeah there you go it's like a white ball with like powdered sugar on it. And it's like little cookies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are. I can use them. Mm. Every time you get like them little shortbread cookies that you get for like Christmas or something. With like the sugar on them, the little sugar crystals. That's what it's giving. It's giving me like a um a nine out of ten. Five out of ten out of ten. I just thought like ten out of ten would be too good to be true. So you can give it a nine out of ten. Key expectations in the middle, kinda low. But they good. But I got these from seven eleven in Japan. In Sasebo. So yeah, anyway, so after that, she like, hey, I'm not trying to hit my car and stuff like that. And it's to the point where we get in like the middle of the street and it's two lanes. So I'm driving in like the far right lane and she's driving in the left lane. And then like she just, I stop on brakes and she like, boom, mer merge in front of my car like this. But if I would never stop and she would have hit my car. So she merged in front of my car. So I stop on brakes. So she back her car up. And now she like this. And I'm like this. It was just giving too much. Like it was just giving too much going on. Too many bad vibes. I'm telling you that now. Okay y'all. So I'm telling my mama's around. Cause she, she acting like she. Y'all go like, camera slide and subscribe. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> she wanna be. Go ahead, come on. Okay, see if you like them. Y'all see what she got me trying. It's the almond cookie. She can't even read this. It's the almond cookie. You don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta show. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. It don't taste like that. <laughs> don't taste like that. You might need some water. Mm -mm. Yeah. No one tastes like that. Okay, so what is giving? One out of ten. You gotta come in the camera. If you go to China, camera. don't get them. Japan. Oh, Japan. <laughs> you don't like them. Mm -hmm. So what you get? One out of ten. Mm. I'm gonna get a three. A three? And I said it was a nine. Okay. So we gonna just mix it. It's a six out of ten. She need to clean her palate. <laughs> That's all I'm about to tell her. She need to clean her palate. <laughs> She got oxtails on her palate and everything. How you gonna know that with that taste? Like you didn't go there eating oxtails, chicken fried chicken, screen beans and rice. <laughs> you can be able to taste no cookie. All oh, that. Chicken whatever, man. Ho oh, child. But yeah, so I thought that I don't call him telling him what it is with the name. And he was just like, look. Well, since she follow you, oh. so yeah, y'all. Yeah, basically, it happened. Whatever happened, happened. Whatever it may be. So fast forward to the point where I got on the shit with Dwayne, and we was on about Whitney. So I was on about Whitney. I'm just like vibing, having a regular old day, and. What happened? Oh, they just called me in the office. Like, my chief, because I'm in the agent department. So, my chief called me in the office was like, yeah, Miss Johnson, we got an email saying we need to come home. So, I was like, okay, cool, whatever, whatever. Like, he told me the reason why, obviously, it was about the case or whatever. So, I said, okay. 
high gas. So, well, I really couldn't even gas. I ain't had no choice. And then they literally got me a plane ticket that same day. Like, it was not planned. So, I had my plane ticket. I had to pack my clothes up during the work day. And basically, me and the just spent our little last day together. I went to overtime with him. Even though I didn't have to work, I still just went there anyway. And then, um, what else? Pretty much, yeah. I went overtime with him. And then, um, we ended up going to sleep. He woke up at 4. I had to leave at 4 in the morning. So, he woke up at 4 in the morning. I woke up at 4 in the morning. And... He ended up taking my bags down the gangway with me and rode with me to the airport. We said our little goodbyes. And it is what it is. So now that's why I'm at the crib. Since everybody want to know why I'm at the crib. This and the third. Why I get off so early. This, that, and the third. Am I still at MSC? Yes. This, that, and the third. Everyone knows my tea. So there I go to tea. Enjoy it. Add the honey to it. Sip it on up. Uh, sweet it up. Whatever you got to do to it. Play tele telephone with it if you want to. But I said what I said, and that's what's going on. So, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, click the post notification bell so you can get notified every time that book's post a video. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we out. I love you, Jordan.